Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Configuring Analog Signal Generation on the SMBV100B. In this presentation, we'll show you how to generate basic analog signals with the SMBV100B, and explain the various settings you can use to optimize these signals for different applications. This presentation assumes a basic knowledge of signal generators. If you're unfamiliar with basic RF signal generator concepts, it might be a good idea to watch the presentation, Understanding Signal Generators, before continuing with this presentation. The two main settings in analog signal generation are frequency and level. The frequency of our generator can be set by using the frequency hard key, by clicking on frequency in the status bar, or by clicking on the RF block and choosing frequency from the menu. The frequency entered in the RF frequency menu is always the same as the frequency coming out of the front of the SMBV. But as we're about to see, the frequency shown in the status bar may change based on so-called offset and multiplier parameters. A frequency offset can be useful when there's a downstream frequency shifting device, such as a mixer. Entering an offset changes the frequency value shown in the status bar. Here, we add 455 to 919 and get 1374 MHz. Note, however, that the actual SMBV output frequency does not change. The multiplier works in a similar way when we have a downstream device that multiplies the frequency, such as a frequency multiplier. Entering a multiplier changes the frequency value shown in the status bar. 919 times 5 equals 4595 MHz. But as before, the actual SMBV output frequency does not change. In different places within the SMBV 100B, you may come across a setting called user variation, which simply controls the step size when using the rotary knob. For example, in frequency mode, the default step is 1 MHz when using the rotary knob. By enabling user variation, we can define how much each click of the knob changes the frequency. For example, if we enable user variation and set the step to 2 MHz, each click of the rotary knob will change the frequency to MHz. You'll also see user variation used for other parameters, such as level. Signals transmitted by the SMBV normally have a zero degree initial angle. If we want to shift this initial phase angle, this can be done using the delta phase settings. For example, we can set the initial phase to 45 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, etc. We can also use the reset delta phase display to use the current phase as the reference value. The delta phase setting is particularly useful if a common reference signal is shared between multiple instruments or DUTs. For example, delta phase could be used to create a 90 degree phase difference between the signals from two different generators. Now that we understand the frequency and phase settings, let's move on to level. As with frequency, we can set the level of our generator output using the level hard key, clicking on level in the status bar, or by clicking on the RF block and choosing Level from the menu. The level coming out of the SMBV is always the same as the level, or amplitude, entered in the RF level menu. We've already seen how the frequency offset works, and a level offset works in much the same way. This offset represents a level shift caused by a downstream device, such as an amplifier or attenuator. We enter a positive offset for a downstream device that increases the level, and a negative offset if the downstream device attenuates the level. And as before, although the level value in the status bar incorporates this offset, the amplitude of the SMBV100B output is not changed when a level offset is applied. It's fairly safe to say that all RF devices have a maximum input power, above which distortion or actual physical damage can occur. This includes radio frequency test and measurement equipment, such as spectrum analyzers and power sensors as well. The output power of the SMBV may exceed the safe input level for some devices, and therefore the SMBV has a limit setting, which prevents the output power from exceeding a user-defined value. There are numerous parameters that can be changed to optimize the performance of our generator in special circumstances. These are setting characteristics, mode, digital attenuation, automatic level control, and user correction. Note that many of these advanced settings only make a noticeable difference in special circumstances. 
Setting characteristics can be used to optimize the RF signal level behavior for different applications. Although there are numerous different setting characteristics, the two most important of these are auto and uninterrupted. Auto provides the fastest setting times and the highest dynamic range. However, the RF signal may be briefly blanked or turned off as we change level over this range. This is due to switching of the internal step attenuator. Uninterrupted mode, on the other hand, avoids this level blanking, but the level range is reduced. Note that even if we stay within this range in uninterrupted mode, blanking can still occur if our frequency changes. Mode allows us to optimize our RF output signal for improved harmonic distortion or improved wideband noise. There are three different modes. Normal mode strikes a balance between signal-to-noise ratio and distortion. Low noise mode optimizes our signal-to-noise ratio by reducing noise, but at the cost of increased distortion or harmonics. Low distortion, on the other hand, minimizes these harmonics or distortion, but decreases our signal-to-noise ratio. One of the ways that the level performance of the SMBV can be improved is through its built-in electronic step attenuator. There are several cases where using attenuation is beneficial, such as when testing a DUT under low signal-to-noise conditions. There are two modes for the attenuator. In auto mode, the generator automatically adjusts the attenuation of the RF output signal. Whereas in fixed mode, the attenuation remains constant. Fixed attenuation values are required if you need uninterrupted level settings with a constant visoire, and you'll see different level ranges depending on which mode you choose. The other settings under attenuation is the RF off mode, which controls the attenuation when you turn the RF output off. Unchanged maintains a constant visoire whether the RF signal is on or off. Full attenuation sets the maximum attenuation and thereby suppresses noise when RF is off. This is particularly important in noise sensitive applications. Another way of optimizing level accuracy on the SMBV 100B is through Automatic Level Control, or ALC. ALC is an adaptive control system to stabilize the RF output level. It continuously monitors the current level and adjusts it to keep a steady state over temperature and time. ALC is active in almost all applications by default, but the level control can be implemented in different ways depending on the setting for state. As the name implies, Auto selects the most appropriate ALC mode automatically, while ON activates ALC permanently. The ON setting provides the highest level accuracy and also maintains the level even when ambient conditions, such as temperature, are changing. In OFF SAMPLE AND HOLD, the SMBV switches briefly into CW mode, enables ALC to adjust and save the level, and then turns off the ALC. SAMPLE AND ON does the same thing, but without disabling ALC. The last two ALC states involve an internal table. Remember that ALC is a control loop, so the output is based on the history of the signal. Off table uses an internal table, rather than the history, to control the attenuation values. Table and on starts with the attenuation settings from the table, and then activates automatic level control. This improves setting times when something in the RF path changes. In the case of pulse modulation, this mode ensures fast level setting, even with narrow pulses at low repetition rates. The sensitivity of the detector used for ALC can also be set to auto, fixed, or a low, medium, or high level, but in almost all cases, it's best to leave this in auto mode. And finally, sample level sets the output power of the SMBV during the sample process, and therefore only applies if state is set to one of the two sample types. Full uses the currently set level during the brief CW output, but can lead to high powers and potentially damage to sensitive connected devices. Attenuated reduces the output power by about 40 dB, and minimum lowers the output power to the minimum possible level. User correction allows you to select and or create user correction data. This data is in the form of a file that adjusts the level of the SMBV depending on the current frequency in order to compensate for an external frequency response. If you'd like to learn more about user correction, please watch the presentation Configuring User Correction on the SMBV 100B. Let's summarize what we've covered. The two main parameters in basic analog signal generation are the frequency, which includes the initial phase of the signal, and the level, which on the SMBV also includes a configurable output power limit for safety reasons. We can specify both frequency and level offsets 
to take into account the behavior of downstream devices, such as mixers, amplifiers, attenuators, etc. There are also many different settings for adjusting or optimizing generator performance. The proper selection and configuration of these parameters is a very advanced topic, but it's good to have a general idea of what these settings are and where they might be useful. And lastly, user correction can be used to compensate for frequency response in cables, connectors, etc. This concludes our presentation, Configuring Analog Signal Generation on the SMBV100B. If you'd like to learn more about signal generation or signal generators, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.